Good day guys, I've been here um, previously, so day 211, we did a family, so to create a um, adaptive family, so we can place wall on it. So today we're going to create another one, so uh, so uh, it can, can be slanted. Okay, so let's do it. So first, uh, create a generic model, adaptive. So we're going to just place a three point. So you can you can have more points if you want to. Okay. So um, and then create a spline, make it reference line. Okay. So the next step is we need to place a point, draw on face, and place it on a reference line, and then select this point. So to make it easier for you to so. So usually when you place a point on a reference uh, line, use a uh, draw on face. So you won't see any word plans. So you can change this show reference plan to show always and also uncheck this show normal reference uh, plans. So you will see all these ref, uh, word plan of this point. So we are going to place a point on the horizontal were plan of this point. Okay, so place another point. So this time, draw on word plan, set word plan, pick the horizontal word plan. So tab, so this one, and also and then place it on this point and then click OK, and then select this point. So see this this slightly bigger. So select on this, and then so you will see the arrow go going down, but so don't worry about that so you can just drag, drag it down so which means this one this offset will be positive so don't worry too much about up or down because um, when you place this family it will go up i believe <laughs> okay so now uh, we can create a parameter for this one but before that i want to select so select both this point and this point and cc okay so can copy i'm going to copy a few of them maybe five of them so now i'm going to select this point pick new host place it on this reference line again pick new hole oops sorry pick new host and then so I'm going to select this point so this point need go to this end okay so now you can drag this and this point I want to place it roughly uh, so I want to equally place all these points so what you can do is you can just type in 0 0.25 okay so and then this one in the middle it will be uh, 0.5 and this one will be 0.75 and this one so you can just drag it to this end so now we can select this one this point and we can create a parameter for this so let's call it uh, maybe h1 instance and okay and then another one so this one let's call it h2 instance okay this one will be H3 is this OK and OK. And this one will be H4 instance OK and OK. This one will be H5. Whoops, create a new H5 instance OK and OK. So now, um, OK, so the offset are all, all good. And then we can select this one, two, three, four, five, create a spline and make it reference line. Okay. And then um, we can, and another, so we need to create another parameter. So if you select one point, you will see this rotation angle. So what we, we're going to select all these points. So control select and another one here okay so five so it will be five reference points and we're going to create an angle 
parameter. Let's call it A. Okay, instance and OK and OK. So now I'm going to select this reference line and also this one, control select and create a form. So this will be a face. Okay. Now let's try. So if I go to, uh, uh, let's create a project and I'm going to load this family. So this family is a three point, three point uh, adaptable family. So, so let's place so one, two, three. Okay, so let's go to 3D view. So you will see, that's, that's it. So, um, and if I change this one, so I'll change the height, one meter. Okay, so it's at this end. 1200 that's roughly a 25 percent here and uh, 1500 maybe uh, 1800 and maybe go down to uh, 1200 something like that and then so this is a adaptive family so we can create so different shape oops so sometimes this happens, but don't worry. You can just always use flip to you know, flip this back. And let me change it to shade SD. And then we can use this to create a wall. Okay, so let me just roughly make it more curved. So now you can go to wall and wall by face and pick so you can just create this wall, okay? Yeah, and also because we have this rotation angle, so we can just try, so for example, 20 degree, okay? And once you you already, if you have already created to this wall, so you can always use update to face. It will go back to this and match the shape of this, okay? So you can create, so maybe, um, uh, I'm not sure how to break the link between these two. Maybe we can co copy it. Uh, and then let me, oh, still link to, oh, no, we broke it. <laughs> so, but this one, I think is still linked to this. So, and if you, if you, um, change the shape so for example if we change the shape it will go uh, let me just flick flip this back if you change the shape you can still match the face of this okay so yeah i think that's it so you can change all the height you can even create uh, you can have more adaptive points so you can create more uh, complex uh, shape and also you can have more different height, if uh, more of this height, if you wanted to, okay? So let's have a play. So you can copy this one as well. You can create multiple. So in full, multiple was negative. Let's try negative angle. So it will ro rotate the other direction. So this one can still go back, okay? So, CS create similar pick wall here here so it's quite um, simple way to create some you know uh, otherwise you can't really uh, directly create a wall uh, like this okay so thank you for watching um, sorry if you have any question please let me know I'll see you next time thank you bye